Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code with Hafiz. Today I'm going to show you how to perform the delete functionality in single page applications using Laravel and Vue.js frameworks. So guys, let's just start. Well, for the delete functionality, I want to use a model. So I will install a package. So let's open a new tab and search for suite alert 2. And let's click on this first link and then here let's go to the installation and you can see we can install this package by npm but uh, I will install it using yarn so let's copy this and let's open our project in text editor but before that let's also open our cmdo command prompt window let me zoom in a little bit now first let's navigate our project folder so cd dot dot slash dot dot slash pam 64 slash www slash laravel view and let's say yarn add and paste sweet alert 2 and press enter so guys our package has been successfully installed now let's minimize our command prompt window and let's go to resources js and app dot js to import our sweet alert 2 Let's import it after this toaster. So in here we can say import file from sweet alert 2. And after that we can use it in our window. So window dot swell should equal to swell. And now let's run our yarn run watch. So let's get back to our command prompt window and let's say yarn run watch. And while it is running, let's get back to the documentation. And in here, let's go to examples and let's scroll to the down. Well, we want to use this dialog message. So let's copy the code from here and let's get back to our text editor. And to check if our suite alert 2 is working, you can create a mounted function in here and paste the swell code in here we'll save it and let's check our command prompt yeah we don't have any errors so now let's get back to the browser and in here let's hard reload as you can see our sweet alert 2 is working just fine so now let's add this functionality or message or dialog box to this delete button to this delete button well, it is refreshing. When I click on the delete, it is refreshing and this is from the mounted function. So don't worry, we will remove it now. So let's cut this code from here and remove the mounted from here too. Now let's go to components and welcome component. First, let's give this anchor tag a click event. So add click and let's say delete employee and we also want to pass the employee id so we can get that from employee object dot id now let's create this method in our vue.js methods so in here let's put a comma and let's say delete employee and we also have employee id coming curly brackets and inside here let's paste our sweet alert to dialog box so let's indent it also a little bit yeah it looks better now let's indent this one also well in here where we want to work we want to work in this if statement because it says if result is confirmed so we want to delete the record so in here let's say axios dot post and for the endpoint let's say employee slash delete slash we want to concatenate our employee id and after that let's put our then and let's say response should equal to curly brackets and inside here let's say 
console.log response and we also want to update the uh, employee list so for that we can say this dot get employees which is this function or not this this function so after that let's also put our catch for any errors so catch errors equals to curly brackets console dot log errors and that's all and this one should be recorded for the success message now let's create this endpoint in our routes file so let's go to routes web.php and in here let's say or oh, we can duplicate this one guys let's duplicate it and this one should be employee this one should be delete and we have id and this one should be delete now let's create this delete function in our employee controller so let's go to app http controllers employee controller and at the bottom we can say public function delete we also have the id coming from the url and first let's grab the uh, employee from the database so we want to store it in variable called imp which should equal to employee model colon colon find and dollar sign id and after that let's say dollar sign imp arrow delete and after that finally we can return our response and arrow json and inside here let's say record deleted and that's all now let's get back to our browser and test our code if it works so let's hard reload and let's click on this delete or guys let's add another one let's add Ahmad Ahmad or for the position let's say manager and for the email let's say Ahmad at email.com and let's say create and it has been created successfully now let's delete this Ahmad delete it yeah it's working just fine we see our list has been updated so guys this was how to perform the delete functionality for the single page applications and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give the thumbs up and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel do not miss any updates from me. So this was everything about this video guys and see you in the next video.